to the Broadway Barbershop here on Broadway between Taylor and Hillcrest in downtown Milton. It's a beautiful Saturday morning here for the 33rd Annual Art and Wine Festival. I'm in the barbershop here, which is open for business, just as it has been for over 50 years, serving the Millbrae community. This place is really a great wine shop. It's uh, an old, comfortable shop. You look around, and it doesn't look like much has changed in the last few days. You can sit here in the lobby area where I'm standing right now and wait for your haircut. Like this gentleman right here is. What's your name? What's your name? Orrin. Orrin Fields. Orrin Fields. I'm waiting to get a haircut. And you can sit here and relax and you can enjoy the conversations of the barber and the customers up there. Or join in if you want to. That's just the kind of place this is. You know, going to the barber shops and all the two things, really. Getting a good haircut, of course, but also coming down and sitting around talking to some of your neighbors, talking to the barbers. After a while, they get to know you, you, you know your kids. I know your history. It's a lot of fun to come in and get to relax a little bit. Sometimes you come in and you talk to people, you enjoy the atmosphere, or you, you come in and you look at these wonderful pictures on the wall. These, these are just a great collection of photos that they have here. I mean, it really goes back. Look at this old 49er pictures here. Um, boy, look at that. The great Italian American boxing champion, Rocky Marciano. What great shots here. Let's walk down the wall and take a look at some of these things here. Look at this, the Pacific Coast of the Seals. Great jockeys here. Uh, look at this, Joe Lewis, the Brown Bomber. The Billy, look there, look at that. Uh, there's John L. Sullivan, as a matter of fact, and Joe and Joe DiMaggio. Uh, some great photos in this I see that. I see that. And then look at this. Hey, Babe Ruth. Babe Ruth. Look at this picture. This guy actually is a real great resident. He was pictured in 1952 with Rocky Marciano. Great shot of that guy. Those are 48 seals up there. Isn't that great? You can sit here and get your hair cut like this guy's getting his hair cut right now from Fred the Barber. Right, Fred? How you doing, sir? You enjoy, you enjoy your hair cut? I see you already got a clean shave, so you're not going to get the shave. Listen, don't worry. It's not true what they said about Fred whacking off three years. He said, so not. Get your shave. Let's head on down here a little further. Our friend, see what else we got here in the barber shop. Down here in the head chair here is John the barber. He's a senior barber here at the barber shop. Johnny's he's been here a long time, and, and he's the, the owner currently. He gives a great haircut. You know, in fact, I'm even told that he can make you look like your favorite celebrity, or at least certain sections of their anatomy. Is that true, John? Am I on TV? Well, you will be later on. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, oh, yeah. Can I say hello to my mom? Oh, yeah, please say hi to mom. Hi, mom. I'm on TV again. And this time it's not cops. <laughs> and he's and he's not kidding too. <laughs> See, listen, if you want some great conversation, come down and talk to John. Now, I happen to know that John is very expert on horse racing. So if you want to come down and get some good tips on Bay Meadows and horse racing while you're getting your hair cut, talk to John. He's an expert on it. I'll tell you this is look at this over here. This guy kind of interesting. These are local sportsmen here on this wall here. See the pictures of the sportsmen here? These are local people doing it. This fellow right here in this picture, I am told, actually hunted with Ernest Hemingway. You know, right there he's standing in front of some kind of big water buffalo or something. I'm not sure what it is. But uh, he shot that one. Quite a, quite a local character there. Interesting people here. Look up here. There's great boxing champions here. Look at that. Jack Johnson, Sugar Ray, you know. Look at these guys. Just found them. Just the tremendous fighters. Muhammad Ali. Uh, I tell you, it just goes on. These guys are really great. They were from a time when there was only one, one true champion of the world. Not like today where you have a champion of this and a champion of that. Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, out here in the barber shop, it's about tradition. It's about getting a good haircut. And it's also about carrying that tradition on. These are two senior barbers here at the shop. The, the, most, the new barber here at the shop is a young fellow named Josh, who is the current barber, who is also a member of a local barber shop quartet. And they're, going, they're set up out in front, and they're going to be doing a little shaving and cutting hair and singing a few songs. So we're going to step outside and meet them and enjoy that. So let's step out for a moment. Hey, in front of the barbershop, now with the barbershop quartet. And the young man here to my left is Josh. Josh is actually the barber here at Broadway Barbershop. He's the youngest member of the shop. And he's here with his fellow, uh, fellow shop barber shop people here. Uh, Josh, would you like to introduce these fellows to us? Oh, uh, yes, I would. Uh, yes, I would. This is our lead. This is Michael Devitt. Say hello, Mike. Hello. And here's Owen Doyle. And this is Jim 
Saunders is our baritone. Owen is our bass. That's great. How long have you guys been working together? Uh, we've we've been a quartet uh, in this configuration for about uh, three or four months now, and we've been singing together. Uh, Jim and Mike and I have been together for about a year. And you're you're actually a member of an official barbershop organization. Or tell us about that. Well, we are the. San Mateo chapter, we're, we're part of a chorus, that's the Golden Chorusman, the San Mateo chapter of the SPEBSQSA, which is the Society for the yeah. Preservation and Encouragement of Barbershop Quartet Singing in America. Oh, that's right. Incorporated. Incorporated, no doubt, no less. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys are going to sing a few songs for us, and, uh, and you're going to, you know, all morning they've been out here singing songs and shaving people, and now there's no one here to shave and no great TV's here, so, uh, so you actually shave while you do this? Do you think I should risk this, Josh? Are, you, are your hands feeling risk. steady? Do you risk? Yeah, should I do this? Oh, they're, they're, they're fine. They're well, fine. I, think, I think I might, I wasn't planning on doing this, but I might give it all here and get in the chair and let them come with a straight edge razor on the shave. This is one of the few barbershops you can get a good old shave like this. I mean, I've never done this before. So, uh, hey, you know, I, I guess it's the first time for everything. Maybe we're going to do this here, right? So, be gentle, man. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, let's, let's give it a go here and then. Let me jump in the chair. Right. You're not going to recline this up. <laughs> I don't have to. <laughs> okay. All right. Mm -hmm. Take this one. Well, this would be a first. Okay. I just gotta go fill this up and I'll be right there. Oh, okay. I'm gonna move this around. When you when you write on this. Right over here with all right, thank you. You got a pint of blood ready for me in case it's no. slow? Okay. So we're just... Sing me a nice song to relax me, boys. Oh, sure. Make sure I get it. <laughs> yeah. Well, I feel like I'm going to heaven. When you hear those wedding chimes, you know they'll bring happy times. I was strolling out one evening by the silvery, silvery moon. I could hear somebody sing, somebody sing a tune, a tune, a familiar tune, familiar tune. So I stopped a while to listen, not a word I wanted to miss. It was just somebody serenading, something like this, my little man. So don't you linger, here's the ring for your finger, isn't it a humdinger, hum come along and let the wedding chimes bring happy times for Mandy and me, my little So don't you leave. Come along, come along. Here's a ring for your finger. Here's a ring for your finger. Isn't it a hum? What a hum -dee. Come along and let the wedding chimes bring real happy times for Mandy. My little Mandy and me. 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 shaved like this every day. <laughs> and I thought a Gillette Track 3 was good. This is better. <laughs> <laughs>